Hi guys, welcome to Neverwinter. We're here to take a look at the, um, the Jubilee event for 2020, which is um, an anniversary celebration for Neverwinter's um, seventh year. You can see here on the stalls, they've got all the, um, the new fashion items on display that you can uh, gain from rewards. And of course, they're also uh, selling these um, thrones. Not quite sure how you use the thrones, but anyway. And there's uh, traveling entertainers. You can get a traveling entertainer to um, follow you around like a companion. So yeah, a couple of uh, interesting mounts there as well. So let's take a look. Hero of so there's some uh, daily missions here you can do. Uh, we'll have a look at the rewards page. Rewards. Oh yes, there's all sorts of things. I think I have a list here. Ah, here we are. Uh, firstly, you can gain access to the beautiful and, as I understand it, exclusive protector's garden. Seems quite a posh place to me. You can also hire your own traveling entertainer to spread merriment during your adventures. An often underappreciated element among adventurers, in my opinion. If you prefer something more regal, you could purchase one of these thrones you see here. Of course, if you want to get about in grandeur, you could try the Jubilee Unicorn. There are a lot of other rewards, of course. By aiding the city and completing tasks during the Jubilee, Lord Neverember will reward you with the Protector's Bounty, which contains a host of interesting and useful items, including the Protector's Hospitality, to share gifts with others celebrating this special time. Okay. So let's uh, let's pick up the uh, the first mission, the Protector's Bounty. Neverwinter's Jubilee and Lord Neverember's promise of protection during the festivities has encouraged foreign merchants to make their way to the city. You can earn the Protector's Bounty by finding the foreign merchants and protecting them as they travel to Neverwinter. Okay, so we've got to escort the what foreign. What can I do for you, my friend? Okay, so on the right hand side, uh, it says Protector's Bounty, locate the foreign merchant. So we go to the travel point and find where he's located. So Black Lake District, Protector's Bounty, and travel over there. That's the active mission, so yeah, we just follow the uh, little sparkly trail. Trail of little firefly. <laughs> um, so there's uh, quite a few daily missions you can do each day, um, but by completing a daily mission, um, each day you'll get a statue. So. I think the event runs for a total of eight days. So there's a total of eight statues that you can um, collect and then you use the statues to purchase uh, special items in the store with Elminster. So here's the foreign merchant over here. You see somebody's already kicked it off so we'll just follow along. And he drops little uh, rewards along the way so you stay within the yellow boundary, follow the merchant, and uh, at points along the trail he'll uh, he'll stop and start shivering, and then you have to kill the kill the enemies. And as soon as you finish killing the enemies, he'll uh, spit out a reward, which you can collect. So it's good to let him uh, get stopped by the enemies first before you kill them. And once he's been stopped, um, then he'll throw a reward once you've um, finished off the enemies. There we go.
So he'll just throw this reward in a random direction, so you have to keep an eye on where it is. Pick it up. So you can see that he's um, he's also dropping uh, Neverwinter Renown. So well, this one's a Protector's Bounty, it's purple. Protector's Bounty. So the Protector's Bounty are like uh, little um, reward cases you can open up and they'll uh, reward you with um, items um, things like um, consumables like um, food buffs uh, potions and stuff like that nothing too exciting but uh, you can see there he's dropped a Neverwinter Renown so you can collect up the Neverwinter Renown uh, by just repeating this quest in this area and um, that's another currency that you can use in the store so you go back to um, Elminster into his store and you can uh, buy some, some of his cool rewards and there is some nice stuff in there to buy uh, with the Neverwinter Renown I guess the other the other main currency is the uh, the statues, um, but you only get one statue per day, so there's a total of eight statues you can use to um, buy from the store. Um, some of the items are four statues each, so you'll be able to buy two um, two main items from the store if you do the complete eight days. So there we go. We finish the uh, finish the escort. So. Uh, from this point we can just go back to, uh, you can see on the right hand side the mission says escort the merchant for bonus rewards and then speak to Elminster so we can go back to the start location and uh, escort him again you can just keep repeating that as many times as you want so I've done this uh, quite a few times <laughs> uh, earned some um, renown and I'll uh, use the renown to buy, buy something nice like the the fallen armor set, which uh, looks pretty cool. I can show you that later. So it's worth doing this a few times if there's some items in there that you want to get hold of. Oh, there's one I missed. Okay, so it's kicked off again. So, so the starting point's just around that corner there. So it's just just there, and then we follow him around again. So there are a bunch of other missions that you can do in the dailies. Um, some of them are like locating a person in a particular zone. Um, other ones are like finding a body and uh, you know like pick up a satchel from a from a dead body that you find in another location zone. So they're just like traveling missions really. Travel, find the item, bring it back and give it back to Elminster. So they're pretty straightforward missions um, and they give you these rewards. And uh, the other thing that's going on in this, this event is um, is the skirmish event uh, which you can queue for. Um, you pick up the quest from Elminster in uh, Protector's Enclave and then um, you press the K button on the PC and you can uh, you can queue up for the uh, skirmish event. So I might show you another video um, that shows you the skirmish event itself. Um, you do the event and then you get uh, a, ch a, a big golden chest at the end with some, some more rewards in it. Some more rewards. So um, yeah, I might show another video with that one. This one's really just about the dailies.
So yeah, you can see how many players are following this guy, just uh, collecting the renown. Obviously seeking items from the store. And you can just keep repeating this as many times as you want while you've got the, the mission active. Uh, once I complete this one, I'll uh, go back to the store and show you some of the items that you can get hold of. Okay, he stops here and then he pops one more reward. There he goes. Gives you a little wave. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Elminster. Protector's Enclave. Okay, let's hand this in. I think you've had all the peril you need for today. You've done well. Another protector's bounty. Protector's name and word have been kept by your diligent actions. All right, so let's open up these uh, cases and see what we get. So if you look at the right-hand side, bottom right, you'll see the. So I've got some more renown some confetti, uh, anniversary ham which is like a food buff, more renown, uh, some uh, profession vouchers, got an insignia, another voucher, so yeah a lot of um, small scale reward items there. There's a um, the quest there I can pick up to do the foreign merchant again. So that's good. Let's kind of have a look at the store and see what's on offer in the store. So um, this page is where you spend the uh, protectors figurines, so the statues. So I've only got one because I've only done one day of this so far. So uh, you can see um, there's a whole bunch of uh, fashion items available here. Jubilee Unicorn, which is um, a mount, a traveling entertainer, which is that juggling guy, I guess, in the background. Seductive pants, um, spike, a pet, and these are the fashion items. So you can right click on those and see what they actually look like. Um, in the Renown stores is where you spend the Neverwinter Renown that you were connect collecting from repeating that mission. Some more mounts. Uh, but the one that I really like is the, uh, the Fallen set. Let's have a look at this. If you right click, you can preview it. There's the helmet. Legs. And the plate. So there you go. That looks pretty uh, pretty badass. I quite like that. So that's the one I'm going to be aiming for. But um, yeah, there's lots of stuff there. What more can so I yeah, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you like this video and um, leave me a like or a comment and I'll uh, see you next time.